Hi guys, Bait Yol Supremacy here and today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on Zero Base One's debut mini album, Youth in the Shape, for some context. I did not watch Boys Planet and only know a few members names. Without further ado, let's get into the review. The first thing I noticed is how much more effort Zero Base One got for their debut compared to Kepler. I don't stand either group, but the quality of Zero Base One's album, music video, concept, and almost everything was much better compared to Wada Slash First Impact. Kepler's Wada Da music video was visibly cheap, the mini album only had three new songs, and was quite messy if I remember correctly. Overall, it's very evident Wake One is putting way more effort into Zero Base One compared to Kepler. Just an observation I made. Anyways, Youth in the Shade is a great debut in my opinion. It sounds cohesive and all the songs work well together. Although I did not watch Boys Planet, I knew that this group was full of great vocalists. So I'm glad that they went with a concept that gives those members a chance to really sing and isn't rap heavy like a lot of other boy groups. My main complaint is the album cover, like it could have been so much better. Screenshots from the music video with some text slapped on it would make a better album cover in my opinion. Anyways, let's get into the individual songs. It's very clear that this is meant to be an intro song, but it's an amazing intro song if you ask me. It opens up the album, and Zero Base One's discography very well. The build up into the chorus is amazing and the production complements the members vocals really well. I was fully expecting this to be a spoken word intro like what La Seraphim and Enhypen do, so getting an actual song was a pleasant surprise. Boy Group Debut of the Year. The only general competition this song has for me is Kiss of Life's debut with Sh. This song is great at keeping my attention. It never feels boring or that it's dragging along. It's pleasing and easy to listen to and shows how sometimes simple is better. The little O's they do in the post chorus, what they posted on TikTok, is very addicting and catchy. The music video is also very pretty. It was very clean and aesthetic while also following a storyline. The hallway scenes are gorgeous and the beautiful world in combination with the virtual world was very cool to watch. Overall, this was a great debut song to set the boys up for future success. We're going straight to the top, come to zoom the vibes, we're the new kids on the block. The middle two songs on the album are the weakest for me. New Kids on the Block is definitely a good song and I enjoy it on the album. But I don't see myself going out of my way to listen to it. Especially following in Bloom. It just didn't live up to the expectations that song set for me. Overall, the verses and pre-chorus are fun. But the chorus kind of lets me down. Like, and I, and I, could you I definitely enjoy and I much more than New Kids on the Block and the vocals in this song are amazing. But similarly to New Kids on the Block, this song's chorus disappoints me. The verses, pre-chorus, and especially the bridge are so amazing. Then the chorus happens and I'm left wanting something else. I better see this song's bridge on one of those best K-pop bridges compilations. It's that good, to me at least. <laughs> Through our season, this is my season oh my god. I love this song so much. This song kind of reminded me of Crazy Stupid Love by Twice when I first heard the intro and I was immediately hooked. already loved the song, but then that chorus happened. Wow. What a perfect chorus. That melody is actually insane. 
I have a sneaking suspicion that this is gonna be one of the least popular b-sides on this and I'm going to riot if that ends up happening. Stream our season. At first I couldn't tell if I loved this song or hated it. But after like 3 listens I realized that I did in fact love it. The vocals are so good and the chorus is quite addicting. Up until this point the choruses of Zero Base 1 songs have been very hit or miss. But this and our season were definite hits. Also, why is this song only 2 minutes long like why is it so short? Like I start it and it's already over. In conclusion, I will be tuning into their next comeback because of how good this album was. They have such a great concept and I'm genuinely interested in seeing how they grow as a group, both as people and musically. This is how I would rank the songs on the album.